Mark Goffney, who uh, just recently did a video. Uh, he's the he's the guitar player for Big Toe. He's based out of San Diego. Uh, tell us about your experience with making the mini documentary with uh, Stan Gonzalez and Ross Harris, hands free. You know, working with Ross and Stanley was um, the first time I ever did a piece that had that much integrity in it. And uh, I really felt like I was hanging out with some friends. Um, they're pros. And they're not just pros at using their gear and the camera angles and this. It's about um, telling a good story and being able to get in with the, the subject. And I, I really did feel like uh, very comfortable. And, and, and it's the first piece I've done a lot of pieces about how do I brush my teeth and how do I drive a car with my feet? This was all about the music. Therefore, it's my favorite piece that I've ever done. So. Right on. And, and you met uh, Stan at the Can Do Musos uh, se seminar. It was kind of a meeting at NAM, right, last January? Yeah, I was asked by a group called Can Do Musos to present, uh, a, tell my story at this sort of a workshop at the NAM show. And uh, Stanley approached me and said, hey, I made this video about one of the guys that you're working with, and um, I want to make a video with you. And I, you know, I've done a lot of documentaries, and I wasn't that excited, but he kept on me and kept on me and said, you got to do this, and um, cause it's going to be really good for your career. And um, So yeah, I buckled in and said, okay, cool, come on down. They came down to San Diego and hung out with me for a few days. and. Uh, it was hot too, it was during the summer, wasn't it? We filmed in one of the hottest, most humid days of the summer. It was unbearable. And uh, in <laughs> fact, I'm trying to street perform to kind of show them a little bit about what I do in San Diego, but there was nobody out. Even the, even the hobos were all looking for shade, so it was a rough one. <laughs> yeah, I've been fortunate enough to have a few videos go viral, but they weren't ones that I had anything to do with. People would film me performing, put it up, and it would get 20, 30 million views. From that, I got a lot of different TV shows over overseas, out of the country. So I've experienced the uh, internet getting me really good gigs and opportunities before. Um, with Stanley and Ross's piece, Hands Free, what I felt like was people got to know me a little bit. And everybody that knew me said, you know, Mark, we feel like that was really you in that. And, and um, so the kind of attention I've had from that video has been a lot more genuine. It wasn't just the numbers, which were great. It was, um, we want to get to know you. Um, so I've been invited to Spain, and I've been invited to perform in some pretty nice thing, a lot of TV offers. Um, so yeah, it's done a really good thing for me. Uh, and this video, I feel like uh, the people that saw the video and want to use me or hire me to perform now, they really know who I am and they know what they're getting. So there's no sort of pretense about, you know, the, the internet views have comments. And sometimes the comments are like, he's amazing. Other ones are like, you know, not very flattering. And, 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 and when somebody just sees a, a two minute clip of you playing guitar with your feet, like I'm sure everybody does that. Um, you know, people don't know anything about you, so they say all kinds of stuff, and, and some of them think you're better than you are, some of them think you are faking it. Um, so, over the years, a lot of the comments on, on the internet have been like, fake. People go, he's got his hands behind his back, or, you know, I saw that guy open for Eddie Van Halen, or, <laughs> you know, and, and it goes back and forth. And a lot of it now is like, hi, Mark. You know, they know me now, I feel like. And a lot of the rumors that were flying around, however good for my career they were, uh, are kind of put to rest. People are no longer saying, oh, that guy's from New York, his name's Frank, and he has his hands behind his back, which is one of the comments that I heard. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so Stanley and Ross really put, put to rest a lot of the sort of, you know, blah, blah, blah hype about the guy that plays guitar with his feet. So. Yeah. That you are a guy that people want to hang out with, right? You say That's so. what I feel like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's very cool. You um, you shot a basket and shows footage of you as a kid shooting a basket. Was that on That's Incredible or Kids Are People 2 or one of those shows? Real People was a show Real that people, was a yeah. rival show to, uh, right. to That's Incredible. Same, same time, early 80s, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Late 70s, early. That was oh. about 81. Was it 80? 81? 80, yeah. That was a good time for TV. All those shows were cool, too. I made a shot. I made a shot. Uh, into the basket, and the cameraman had the. Oh, I'm out of memory space. Can you? Okay. 
the cameraman had the cover on the lens and didn't get it. So I tried to duplicate the kick in the basket shot 10, 15 times. Finally, they gave up and let somebody throw it in. So it looked, it, so it's a fake shot. Oh. But I made that shot that same day. <laughs> yeah. So it's like lip syncing, but to yourself. <laughs> Okay, so uh, what else do you want to talk about? You want to you want to say hi to anybody, or you want to make any mention of anything, or you know, if we missed anything, uh, a couple of things on the video, I wish we would have got because I talked about how in the '80s in the glam rock scene, I never quite got a big crowd going, um, and I, I have done that since then. We kind of left some of that on some of that out, I think, on purpose. Um, I'll be playing at, Ra at Ramona Main Stage with Autograph, and we played with Great White since then, and. Uh, so yeah, I'd just like to say, like, don't feel bad for me if you saw that video. I've actually had some good stages uh, since then. And you know, the video was so good and I kind of got open and honest with those guys. And I was like, you know, in the 80s, I could never get that big crowd right pressed up to the stage like all my favorite bands did. And, uh, and the video kind of leaves you thinking, oh, the poor guy, he never did. But I actually have since then. Um, I just want to do that every night. That's awesome. Your stories so, yeah. are great on the video, too. Yeah. The, the one about the, the asphalt the ballet, yeah. yeah. And, and then when you look him up on the internet afterward, he's old and <laughs> you know, he's, he's and bald and fat. No, and he's, he's not fat and bald. In fact, one of his oh. fans actually sent me a picture of him rocking down in Georgia or something. He's just a full blown freedom rocker now. He's yeah. got his yeah, hair. Yeah. He's got his hair, but he's a big old boy. But <laughs> um, yeah. He's oh, still cool. rocking. I didn't mean any harm. <laughs> no, that's cool. Are you sure he's not bald under that hat he wears? He though? might be. Because he's got a full head of hair, but he he's, might have the Michael Did you post? Did you post that? No, no. But I, Somebody I sent me a picture of him now. Yeah. And I'm he's so, like, I immediately looked him up right after the video. Oh, good. Because <laughs> <laughs> where is he now? That sort of thing. Yeah.